Welcome along once again to this review channel, putting the frothy, intricate heart of criticism on the latte of discourse. And please subscribe and leave a resoundingly supportive comment. The second part of Denis Villeneuve's monumental Dune adaptation, Dune Part 2, has dropped in cinemas with a sternum juddering crash, and it's another shroom of a film, an epic sci-fi hallucination whose images speak of fascism and imperialism, of resistance and romance. Villeneuve's adaptation of Frank Herbert's 1965 novel, working with co-writer John Spates, draws on David Lean, George Lucas and Ridley Scott's gladiator in the mega stadium combat scene with the tiny billions of CGI crowds in the bleachers. But he's made it all his own. The sound design throbs and drones in this film's bloodstream, lending a queasy frisson to its extraordinary visual spectacle. This world is beyond cruelty. You've been fighting the Harkonnens for decades. My family's been fighting them for centuries. And they were massacred alongside my father. My father didn't believe in revenge. We believe in Fremen. Let me fight beside you. Reload! My only tiny reservation is that some of the momentum that the first part had built up has been lost since that movie went out two years ago. Those outside the existing Dune fan base could moreover feel that the ending does not deliver the resounding closure to which we might all consider ourselves entitled at the end of 330 minutes total screen running time. And the final eventful moments of the film do feel to me a little bit rushed, as if Shakespeare had decided to shrink Henry VI Part Three into a zappy coda to go at the end of Part Two. Well, none of that damages the film's flair and its staggering display, and we begin with another extraordinary and surreal battle scene with the invented technological detail that is so commanding and distinctly scary, as if we're witnessing a post-human evolutionary development. The signature design touches are presented with absolute confidence. In any other film, those black breathing nasal tubes would look odd, especially when the two leads are expected to kiss while wearing them. Here, you just accept it. On the planet Arrakis, with its hugely lucrative mineral resource of spice, the hideously corrupt Harkonnen rule, having brought off a duplicitous coup against the Atreides family. This is the gruesome Baron, played by Stellan Skarsgård, and his creepy nephews Beast Raban, played by Dave Bautista, and the even creepier Fade Routha, in which part Austin Butler now makes his Dune appearance. The charismatic Paul, played of course by Timothy Chalamet, is still gallantly fighting with the Fremen insurgency, in love with Chani, played by Zendaya, and considered by warrior Stilgar, played by Javier Bardem, to be their messiah. But Paul's mother, Jessica, played by Rebecca Ferguson, part of the occult Bene Gesserit sisterhood, is with him also taking up her own place in the Fremen power structure. A great reckoning between the Fremen and the Harkonnen is approaching. It's a panorama of shimmering strangeness, now expanded to include a bigger cast, with Lea Sedu on classically feline and insinuating form as the Bene Gesserit initiate Margot Fenring. As before, the second Dune film is superb at showing us an entire created world, a distinct universe which will probably be much imitated in the future. What a triumph for cinematographer Greg Fraser and production designer Patrice Vermette. Hans Zimmer's score provides exactly the right tone, plangent and grandiose. Villeneuve has such ambition and boldness, and there's no doubt that Timothy Chalamet carries an action romantic lead with enormous style. This is a real epic and exhilarating to find a director thinking as big as this. And that's it. Please give this vlog a like or even a love, if that's possible, on your social media platforms. Please subscribe to this channel and leave a comment. And I think I might have said this before. Please buy my book, The Films That Made Me, an edited selection of my essays and reviews for The Guardian. See you next time.